I'm Nikki Alexio. We're here at the Canadian Macedonian place this evening, April the 14th, 1994. We're here tonight to speak with Chris Paul to tell us a little bit about his life in the old country and in Canada. Chris, how about if we start off a little bit better about where you were born and uh, a little bit about the family and the town you were born in. I was born in Jello, the name of the village. Then, uh, how old were you? Fourteen. Well, well, before well, you left? I was born in 1907. 1907. Yeah. Uh, do you remember a little bit about the village, what it looked like, what was it, uh, how large was it? It was quite, quite a large village, must have been close to 2,000 people at a time. It was a large village. At the time, not now. <laughs> Where, uh, how many, do you have any churches? How many churches did you have there in the village? There two churches there. Two churches? One so-called Greek church and one Bulgarian church. Why was it Bulgarian? Well, Bulgaria had a church up to, up to the time the Greeks took over in 1903. When the Greeks came over, I mean, 1913. I see. So when the Greeks came over, they closed the Bulgarian church. So then they built the Greek one? No, the Greek one was, was built before. Oh, it was built before? Yeah. So there were two languages in the, in the village? There was only one language. Only the priests and the teachers could speak Greek. Greek. The rest of the people? Macedonian. Spoke Macedonian. Yeah. Uh, how large was your family? Your dad, your mom? No, no, my family wasn't too large. On my father's side, it's, uh, my grandmother was uh, originally from Albania, and she had three brothers and two sisters. And all, most of them lived in Castoria. In Castoria. Yeah. So, do you remember your house? What did the house look like? And uh, do you want to, want to tell you something about my mother? Yes. Yeah, my mother, she had two brothers, three brothers, one of them died young, about 30 years old, and the two of them moved here in Detroit, they lived in Detroit, and uh, I can, and my, uh, my grandfather, on my mother's side, he was a tailor, yeah, they've been called Te Tezievsky. Where did they live? Did they live in Albania or did they live in... No, 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 no. My, my grandfather married my grandmother. Was Albanian. Albanian, but she moved in the, in the village. In the Jaleo. Yeah. And what was your uh, mother's, uh, what uh, family your mother came from? Which name? What was her maiden name? Well, uh, her maiden name was Do Dodevci. Dodev. Dodev. But uh, they, 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 most of them call them Terziovsky because, Terziovsky because they were tailors, means te, uh, Terziovsky. Terziovsky. Yeah. And your father? My father, uh, uh, sorry, I did say something about my father's name. No, Paul, was it, uh, what was the name for oh, Zerevsky? Your I, father. Well, my father was, uh, I don't, I, I want to remember my grandfather. I don't remember any further than that. Oh, I yeah, see. My grandfather was uh, quite a rebel in his young uh, days. Mm -hmm. And then uh, later on, he took my grand uh, uh, grandmother and they, went, and they went to Jerusalem to become Hajis. Haji. Haji? Both of them. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. At that time, 19, I think it was 1904, uh, uh, they went by camel ride, <laughs> camel train, whatever you call it. That's fantastic. Um, uh, Did you have any sisters, brothers? I had two sisters. Their name? Uh, Velika and uh, Dolly. And Dolly. Yeah, Dolly is my sister. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I had a brother, which he died, uh, yeah, he was only 19 when he died. He was, he was young. No, he was older than I. He was older than you. Yes. Do you remember the, the village? Uh, was it, uh, what did they grow? Did they grow uh, wheat? What, uh, what well, was growing in the Genoa? It was a, 
mountain village, you know, they, they, they didn't have very good fields there. But a lot of them, they went out uh, in uh, Anatolia, in Romania, in Bulgaria, in Greece, in, in Canada. Basically to earn a living. Not to earn a living. I but uh, as, I, as I can remember, living wasn't bad because maybe I class it as uh, the way we lived because we That's true. We we're pretty, we, well... Uh, you, you grow everything there. Everything yeah. grew, you ate every, from the gardens. Every house had a, uh, uh, not every house, most of them had a cow, mm -hmm. had a donkey or a mule. And they grew, they had a little... Uh, a uh, pig? Pig. And every, every family had a pig. And it was killed Christmas time. And they used to uh, make light of lime out of the Christmas time so they could use it during the winter. To actually preserve the meat, in other yeah, words. Yeah, well, they, they, they used to make the jugarinki. Uh What was the other things that, you, that they ate in the village at those days? What did you make, like manja, for instance? What was it made of? Well, I was too young. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? Can you remember what did you have for breakfast? No, not, not toast, because we didn't have a toaster. <laughs> did you and, have fiberki and bread? And no cereal. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, sometimes uh, not eat. <laughs> Do you remember of the people who were uh, anything politically inclined in the village? Like, uh, what were the people doing? Do you remember anything of that? Well, there's always, in our village, they're always politically inclined. Yeah. They had two parties. One pro Jew, one pro Greek, and one pro Bulgarian. Was it pro Bulgarian or pro Macedonian? At that time, they called it pro Bulgarian. I see. But it was really pro Macedonian. Yeah. Were uh, they... Because uh, Bulgaria uh, helped uh, that movement mm -hmm. and Greece helped uh, the other movement. So uh, what they did, they called it uh, Bulgaria. Were there any friction in between the two people, in between the uh, pro-Greeks and the pro-Macedonian? Well, our village wasn't bad at all. They didn't, uh, a lot of villages were destroyed over that, but uh, in our village there was not too many assassinations. Uh, I remember, as, as far as I can remember, was my grandfather was assassinated by the Andalkas, and there was another fellow, one of the Mishur family, was assassinated by, from the other side. What was your fa grandfather's name? Pavle, Pavle. Oh, his name is Pavle. Yeah. So, in other words, your last name now is because of your grandfather Pavle? Pavle. Pavle Paul. Mm -hmm. What was your father's name? Dimitri. Dimitri. Yeah. Then uh, your father left after your children were born, he came to America? My father left uh, in 1902, he came over. My grandfather was in the movement and there was, he knew that there was going to be a revolution in 1903. So he had two sons and he was... Uh, for, for for the village, let's say he was well off. <laughs> so he sent them over in Canada so they wouldn't take part in the revolution. So he was afraid they may be killed during That's the right. revolution. That's right. So they came, they came here in 1902, stayed here for three years. They came back in 1905. They came here prior they were married? Before no, they were married? No, no, no. They, they came in after they were married? Oh, no, both brothers were married. They were married when they came home. When they came? Yes. And then when they came back, the children were born afterwards or before? Well, I was born uh, in 1907, and uh, my, my, my sister must have been born in 1909, 1910, which she doesn't know. That's Dali. <laughs> anyway. My mother and my dad came back also in 1910 and never went back. And they never went back? No. So in other words, then after your dad, uh, when he did the papers for you to come, did you come here alone? Alone, yeah. You came all by yourself? No, uh, 
Was it anybody with you in uh, well, when you left? Was, there was another fellow from Booth that uh, he came with my friend with me. Like. With you, so that uh, when you left uh, Larry and uh, he Booth, was with me. This he was with time. you, yeah, yeah. and you were actually 14 years old. 14 years. How did you feel to go in a strange land in that age, 14 years old? Well, so yeah. Every, everybody wanted to come to Canada. How you gonna feel? You feel good about it. So you were excited then. Yeah. I see. Was it difficult for you when you went to uh, Thessaloniki to uh, to uh, communicate with the Greeks? Did you speak no, Greek? No, I could speak Greek. Oh, you could oh, speak yes. Greek. Oh, yes. Yeah. So did you learn the Greek language in the school, in, in the, the village? School. Yeah. yeah. Did you do any other work in the village or you just went to school? Yeah, true. Just to school. Just to school. Then uh, after Thessaloniki, you stayed in Thessaloniki for a little while? Well, oh, probably three, three or four days. Three or four days. Yeah, and then in uh, Athens, we st stayed about three, four or five days. Four or five days? Yeah. And then you left for uh, Canada for through, through Paris. Yeah. What was it like in the boat? Were there other people, uh, well, other Macedonians in the well, boat? Uh, it was a, a quite old boat, and there was only 47 passengers in the boat. Oh, it was a small boat. boat. Yeah. Yeah. Was the food, what the, what was well, the food all about in there? The food wasn't bad, only, as I said before, I hated Wednesdays. <laughs> because of the beans. <laughs> the beans. Uh, were you seasick in any way, or? No, no. No. Never. So it took you uh, four to five weeks to get to New York. How about that, yeah. yeah. When you got to New York, what did you think about it when you saw the Statue of Liberty, did you, uh, do you remember any of that stuff? Well, I mean, naturally, I remember the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. What did you think the about first it? first time I ate a banana there. <laughs> oh, yeah, first time you had a banana, you yeah. remember that. Yeah. And then you took uh, the train. Did you come with the train? Train to Buffalo and here. Uh, to Buffalo and to then Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. When you came to Toronto, which is, uh, I suppose, Union Station, was your father there? Who was it there? To pick you up? Nobody. Nobody? <laughs> we took a taxi. <laughs> Were you frightened? No, no. I, uh, let's see now. If that I can't remember. I don't think there was anybody because I remember we went to uh, at, on King and Niagara there. Some Macedonian people had, a, had the restaurant there. And my, my father had moved away from there to Sinclair I in see. Britannia. And then my cousin, we took the streetcar to Kiel and Sinclair. And we walked from Kiel and Sinclair up Sinclair, uh, from Kiel and Dundas up Sin uh, uh, to Kiel and Sinclair, and down Sinclair almost as far as Vernon on the 22nd of January. And it was a cold day. And it snowed. <laughs> Pardon? Was it a lot of snow? Do you remember what the snow? Oh, yeah. There was snow. Right? It was a lot of snow. Yeah. Then uh, you met your father there. Mm -hmm. Yes. What did you think about the language? You know, not being able to speak English. Was it difficult for you when you arrived here, or maybe because of your aunt was okay? Well, naturally it would be difficult. But I had two cousins that were going to school in public school there, near nearby, and I lived with them, and they they grew up here. One of them was only about two years old when he came over. The other one about five. Do you remember but the address where your aunt lived? Yeah. 20, what What was the address? Twenty three eighty six Sinclair near West. <laughs> so that's where you lived, yeah. which was above a store. Yes. Yeah. I see. Uh, did you live in that particular area for a long time, or you moved? Oh, I lived there for that period of schooling. I went to school the rest of the year. And then in the summertime, I moved. Yeah. Where did you move in the summer? Moved on New Life. On New Life. Was that with, <laughs> your, <everybody>. fa <laughs> with your father? Yes. Did uh, Did you have any papers? Did you uh, Did your father make any papers for your mother to come? Uh, a couple of years later. A couple of years later. Yeah. And then uh, your sisters and your mother they came together. Yeah, that's right. I see. Yeah. Then did you have a house at that time, or you still? We had a house. Yeah. Where was your house? On the uh, corner of Mulac and Sinclair. On Mulac and Sinclair. 
I see. Uh, that particular area was quite a bit a Zelevsko area. Most of them. All of the Zelevsi. Yeah. Did you participate in as a village in that area? Or did you uh, have friends with Canadian people? Or uh, did you uh, communicate only with the Macedonians? I would say both. Yeah. Both. Yeah, both. Yeah. Because uh, up in, at the junction, what I call it, mm -hmm. most of the Macedonians, they, they mixed uh, more with the English, it was the Canadian and the mm -hmm. Saxon people. But uh, down uh, Cabbage Town, most of them congregated to, together. together. <laughs> did uh, what did you what did you do uh, when you were with the Macedonian people for recreation, for instance? Did you continue the uh, uh, some of the traditions that we had in the village, or uh, more or less did you um, Canadianize in some way? No, we. My father was quite active in the, at the church. Which church was that? At St. Cyril Methodist, that's the only, only church there was in. Yeah. I see. And uh, we always, there was always something doing at the church. You know, you meet girls and people and all that. Yeah. At that time for, for the church, of St. Cyril Church, uh, what what diocese was it, the priest? What, what diocese the priest came from? He came from Bulgaria. He was a Bo from Bulgaria. Yeah. So the church was known as uh, uh, Bulgarian Macedonian or yeah. Macedonian Bulgarian? Macedonian Bulgarian. Macedonian Bulgarian. Macedonian Bulgarian. I see. Told, uh, told the revised constitution, uh, I think it was in 1956 or something like that, it read that it belonged to Macedonians and Bulgarians. I see. So we know that. And uh, the services were done in Macedonian and Bulgarian. The which? The services when the when the church was. Uh, yeah, that was in Bulgarian. Still is in Bulgarian. It still is in yeah. Bulgarian. Yeah. Did uh, did you have any uh, as young people? Did you associate it with the Macedonian people? Did you have any picnics, that kind of a thing? Oh, picnics were always for the picnics. <laughs> <laughs> where where were they held? Well, they were held in. Uh, Carver Heights, uh, Lampton uh, Park, and Andleton, and uh, Dundas Street there. And uh, there was another one up around Weston, different places. How did the people travel to go to the picnics of those places? With buses and streetcars. With buses and streetcars. Very few people had cars in. On those days. Uh, how did, were you, did you participate in the Genevo Hall on Sinclair and uh, Western yes, Road there? Uh, how did that hall ca came about? Well, uh, we all belonged to St. Cyril Methodist. And it was quite a way from Gil and Sinclair to Dundas and Gil to go out there. It took you almost an hour. You wait for the streetcars and that. So we thought that uh, the older, older well, well, we thought that we better build a house. So we started building a house. What was the purpose? Was the purpose for the young people to get together? It was. That's right. That's what it was for. Did it help for you to marry into Macedonian's family? Well, what helped me is uh, belonging to the church in St. Cyril Methodist. We know everybody at the time. Yes. We, each, we, know, we all know each other. I used to, we used to have, uh, in, before, you, before I came in this country, they had an athletic organization, which they call it Balkansky Unak. And I signed, uh, I became a member. Oh, you were of the Balkansky eunuch? Yeah. So I became a member there, and I, I got married and was still a member there. And then we turned into Makedonsky eunuch. <laughs> oh, Makedonsky eunuch? Yeah. I we see. renamed it Makedonsky eunuch. That, that was at uh, Trinity. That was bef before you were married? That's right. Yeah, uh, that's where I met my wife. That's where you met your wife. Uh, what was the, uh, did uh, the traditions they say, did you bring, uh, did they make zelnitsi, 
and that kind of stuff. They're still making them. They're still making them. <laughs> Will your sisters uh, carry on the, the tradition after your mom? What? Well, they sure did. My sister and Donnie was one of the best still making them. <laughs> How did they come out to get married? Did they marry Macedonia any of your sisters? Or? Well, they're, they're not married. They came here single. single. No, but did they marry Macedonian yeah, men? Yeah. From the UNOC organization? From which? From the UNATI organization? No, no. That's from Junction Gang. <laughs> How were the weddings when uh, you made them? Were they large weddings? They were large as could be for that time. Mm -hmm. But uh, they were most of them were in houses and they couldn't afford to rent a car at that time. So they were done at home? Yeah. Of course, I had my way to get that. Uh, Drew Hall was built at St. Cyril Method in there on Trinity. Oh, and the Trinity. And I think it was the first, uh, my wedding was about the first wedding country builder in the building hall. That, that's what I was meeting. How How did you meet with your wife? Well, my father and uh, his, her brother, they knew each other very well from the church. And one day they visit, they used to visit us from, he had a car, that, her brother. Mm -hmm. one, one of the very few that had cars. And so they came over to visit us, and she was only about 14. They kind of looked at her and said, boy, I wish this girl was a little older. <laughs> so anyways, I waited a few more years and I got her. <laughs> that was very, very yeah. lucky. Were you allowed to date, or just uh, the parents made the arrangements somehow? There, there was a dating, you know, scriptural. Scriptural, <laughs> so nobody would know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, did you go for uh, Narakia? How did how did they go? Oh yeah, that was really nice. That uh, name days. Name days, name yes. Days. That's what you mean. Yes. Name days for them. It was really good. You know, you meet people, you know, and... Uh, How was it done? Did the, the, the people were waiting or that you were invited? Well, or you went from house to house? From house to house. You if didn't the, have to be invited. If your name is Castor, you go to Castor. If your uh, name is Mito, you can go to Mito. Yeah. I see. Did, uh... Uh, what was uh, your wife's name? Stephanie. 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 And their last name? Kiza. Kiza. Uh, did you have a large family? Her? Uh-huh. Yeah, five sisters and, and two brothers. Five sisters and two yeah, brothers. She, her mother remarried and uh, she had a brother and a sister. Uh, before she, her mother remarried. There's two there. And then when were, were, uh, the fellow she married, she had, he had about uh, four or five daughters and one son. So they, that made a big family. I see. What village were they from? Well, my, my uh, wife's uh, people were from Gavrish. From Gavrish. Yeah. Were there a large community from Gavrish here? There were quite a few, yeah. How many, uh, how many sisters were they? There were five, si five sisters. Five sisters. Were there any brothers? One brother. One from brother. From the Teneke family. From the Teneke family. Yeah, and one from uh, the one before she remarried. One brother. I see. When, uh, at that time when you were getting married, was it uh, appropriate for someone to marry Canadian without too much fuss from the family? Well, there was always resentment, you know, but uh, there, were, there was quite a few people. I, got, I had boyfriends that married uh, Canadian mm -hmm. girls, yeah. What was the year that you married? The year 1930. 1930 you got married. Uh, did you live with your parents or you had a place of your own? When, when I got married, we built a new house. My father and I built a new house. So I had my honeymoon there. In your, new, house. in your new house. Yeah, yeah. So you lived alone. You didn't have your your father and mother. No, yes, I lived with my father. Yeah. Oh, with your father. And my uh, uncle and aunt. And <laughs> oh, they were. Oh, at that time you. <laughs> they were all together. Yeah. 
what uh, what was the uh, where was the area at that time of the new house? Is that the one on Mulac? No, it was on the, the name was Rockwell. Uh, uh, right on the corner of Rockwell. Rockwell and Western Road. And Western Road. Where your uncle Rudy was. Luca. Luca. Luca bought the house. Yes, that was a beautiful house. <laughs> yeah. Well, we built that home. I see. How many? Uh, how soon after your children were born? How soon what? The children. Your children were born well, after that. The first two years. After two. After two years. We had the first child. The first child. Yeah. And was? Was the girl? Girl. Yeah. What was her name? Mary. What, the, t the time of the, the year, what was the year she was born? 1932. 1932. And then was your son, son Carl? Son was born 1936, Carl. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then 1940. The 1940. Yeah. Did they all grow up there on Rockwell? Well, when we moved, we moved uh, out uh, York Mills Way, you know, in the hollow there. And we built, and built a house there. And on my boys, Mary was just, at that time, just graduated high school. And Carl was still going to public school in Jerry. So they went to a school, and uh, there was a little school in York Mills, east of Young. Did, the, did you speak the Macedonian language in the house? Did your children speak Macedonian? Well, both. They can't speak that uh, language too well, but they can understand it. They so. can understand. Oh yes. Do uh, you, do they have the Macedonian traditions with them even today, or? No, no. Although there's a uh, book. My two sons are married Macedonian girls, and but they're. Uh, How did you make your it's living? A different generation. That's true. How did you make your living when you got married? What did you do? Work. What uh, What kind of work did you do? In, in a little store, frame store, on Sinclair and Teal. Was we had a was heated by a wooden stove right in the middle of it. <laughs> With a wooden stove. That's right. <laughs> we used to pile up coal during that for during the night, in mm -hmm. the morning, in the real cold days, the, the Coca-Cola and uh, the pop was frozen <laughs> around the store there. Well, it was a very good place. We did very well. That was a variety store. Yeah. Then after that? After that, we, had, uh, we bought, uh, this is taking a long time. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> after that, we bought, uh, when we, the railroad took over our property there because they built an overpass on the Sinclair and uh, Kew. So after that, we bought a store in, on Pitt and Danvers, um, next uh, door to the Royal Bank there. Mm -hmm. I bought it myself with my, one of my brother-in-law. And uh, then, uh, I took my sister and her husband, mm. partners in there. Which sister? Dolly. Dolly and Tom. Yeah, and they were running that, and I, I opened another one on Dufferin and Sinclair. And at one time, we, I ran three restaurants. Do you remember the names? Paul's Lunch. Oh, Paul's Lunch, that's easy. <laughs> what kind of food did you serve? Well, a little bit different than what it is now. After about 1950, 60, food was the same. After the immigrants came over from all over from Italy, from Germany, then you started getting good food. <laughs> Before that, what was the food all about? What did you serve? Sausages, hamburger, steaks, Welsh rarebit, uh, shepherd pie, Scotch meat pie. <laughs> I see. Where was where was uh, which one was your most famous restaurant? There was no famous restaurant. Just a favorite. Which no? Which one did you like the best? <laughs> well, the one that 
and uh, Daffod and Pape, uh, my sister and, and Tommy, that's her husband, they, they ran that for quite a few years to a bio case in Rosega Beach. What was the name of the Sega Beach, the hotel? What was the name of that hotel? I think it was Alistonia. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Alistonia Hotel. Yeah. People used to go there in the summer? Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember I used to play poker. She is a poker player. She's still playing poker. <laughs> <laughs> what made you move, but when you moved from your house uh, to King City, what made you move again? I had a pretty good house at, uh, in, in, in uh, just on the top of that York Mills, north of, east of Young. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we lived there about 10 years, which was a really nice house, but I always liked the, the outdoor. And I had a little tough time convincing my wife to, <laughs> to come out and live out in the park. In the farm. How far was the farm? Where was the farm? In King City. It was just uh, on the outskirts of King City. Right there. I see. Do you still live there now? No, no. I, I got it ready. I live with my uh, son now. With your son? Yeah. Uh, your girls are married? Your daughter? Yeah. Does she yeah. have any children? She's got three boys. Yeah. Three boys. Yeah. Are they grown up? Their names? Well, they're grown up, yeah. One is. Uh, is a doctor and the other one finished uh, business administration. What What are their names? Martin. Martin? Yeah. And? Oh, what's the other? There are three. Three boys? No, no. One is Ma Mountie, uh -huh. Montgomery, yes. Gregory, and Marshall. Oh, and Marshall. Yeah. That's very Canadian names. Yeah, I used to kill my daughter. She had uh, Monty Marshall. I said, you should have named Gregory. Phil Marshall. Phil Marshall. Phil Ray Marshall. Montgomery. <laughs> uh, Christy, uh, I forgot to ask you, what was the name of the boat that you uh, embarked from? Uh, I think it was Alexander the Great. If I the boat was Alexander the Great yeah. when you came in. Uh, we're going to go back to the holidays again. For instance, uh, when you celebrated Christmas, uh, what was the food that you ate at that particular time? Well, we were more, as far as I can remember, we were more Canadian eggs. We at that time? Had turkey, yeah. You had turkey? Turkey, Lukachina, like sausages. Did the, did the ladies make the Lukachina themselves, Sopras? Yes. They were made homemade yeah. Lukachina? Homemade, they're, they're the best. They're the best. <laughs> if I can remember, they were saying you were ma you people were at those days making your own whiskey in the basement. Was that uh, those that liked their whiskey? Yes. Did they do that? How did they do it? Well, I had an uncle. <laughs> I should say that he liked his drinks. Okay. Yeah. So I never drank much. My, neither my none of my family liked my father. Either anybody in the family, but he really liked his drinks. So, I, my, my aunt was really a nice woman. She what knew, was her name? Uh, what was, uh, Elena was her name. Elena, and her last name? Paul. Paul. Oh, Elena Paul, yes. And I, t t this is uh, pretty good here. Uh, she used to make wine for him. Yes. Yeah. And she used to ration it. Uh, every time he has a little bit of wine, so she would bring him one little cullen chip. And then at the end, you know the, what do you call them in English? I forgot, comedy. What's Co left? Com Community, the uh, left press the of the grapes. Yeah, the, the grapes. That's what they make, make wine out of that. Like they make the wine out of the grape. Not but, wine. Uh, Rakia. Rakia. How was it made? How did you make it? I didn't make it. No, but how <laughs> did they make it? So, so she says, you know, I'm going to throw these comedy away. She says, 
I'll tell you what, how the, uh, we do it in your country, it is. Okay. So if you can make a little challenge for me, you know. Yes. So she describes, uh, in a way, anyway, that's how I, I, I caught on what she wanted. So I went to a fella on Queen's Medina, he was a metal worker there. I told him about it. He says, I know, he says, I made a lot of them. <laughs> so it's like a little still. It's still. Yes. So on a, on a copper too, you know. So he made one for her, uh, for me. And I give it to her. Uh huh. And she used to make them wine. So you you made the I mean, the, the, the in the basement. In the basement. <laughs> I remember they say that then when they used to take the comida, they would dig a big hole in the garden and hide it in yeah. the soil where they used to plant the peppers. Did you eat lots of peppers? Did you have pepper gardens and crafts? Well, did you grow gardens? We did, but uh, my mother wasn't much of a gardener. <laughs> she wasn't? No. Well, for Dolly to be such a good cook, your mother must have been a very good cook. Oh, she was a good cook, my mother, yeah. And from what I understand, Stefka was a very good cook. Well, she learned from my mother. Oh, she learned from your mother. Yeah. I see. Because I, I remember the old house on Rockwell, there, is, there was a little distilled still there they used to make uh, whiskey long time ago. I remember that. Ma. So well, they used to make pipetio tushia and drink the whiskey. Not, no, no. They used to make from the grapes the whiskey. The reiki. Mm -hmm. Not from the No, no. You have the pipetio yeah. and have some reiki. Yeah. So did you use that for uh, uh, the holidays or was it uh, if no. somebody came uh, no, to holidays, visit you will use it? Holidays used to uh, at, at one time, they used to uh, buy a cake of beer, four gallon beer, and they used to serve beer. I see. Yeah, and whoever wanted uh, raki, they said it was raki. Yeah. Do you remember any of the hors d'oeuvres? Like what was the mezina? Oh, mezina was. Uh, it used to they, they give it, it was some sausages, some blanco, you know, the sweet stuff was the way you call that. Uh, Cherasi. Or dunya? Whatever. Or the dunya? Yeah. They used to serve that. I see. And, uh, and then the ladies, they, they overdone. Everybody would try to outdo. One after the other. After the other. So it got so bad, they quit, quit it. That was the worst thing they ever did. <laughs> they, they, they made a lot of food then, in other words. A lot of food, a lot of... Yeah, zelnici, buriji, whatever you want. <laughs> what did they make them with? What was the feeling inside the zelnici? Well, it was pras and uh, wood and, uh, and different things. Cheese and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Were the uh, churches were part of the uh, um, uh, uh, gatherings and that entertaining? Was the recreation, the churches, the churches hall. The churches, the halls. Yeah. So that was where everybody met. Yeah. Yeah, way up, even up to 60, 65, you know, boys that even, uh, the boys that were in the army, most of them, the Mary Macedonian, that was, that's what they met their wife, at Trinity, Trinity Hall. Yeah. At the Trinity Hall. Yeah. When uh, your children grew up to be married, did they marry in a Macedonian church or? Yes. Yeah. They married in the Everyone Macedonian has, church. Yeah. I see. Uh, are your grandchildren married? No. They're not? No. Let's assume when they get married, are they going to get married in a Macedonian church? Who knows? <laughs> Does it matter to you? Doesn't matter to me, no. As long as they're happy. That's yeah, right. <laughs> Is there anything that you remember you want to tell us something that it was very important to you to stay on the tape for everybody to remember? What was your best time I, I, of your life? When was your best time of your life? It's the best time of my life. Yes. And I spent 60 years with my wife. That was something. Yeah. That's wonderful. 60 years and 50 days. Well, that's nice. I wish we can say the same <laughs> thing these days. Yeah. What made it so successful? The marriage? Yes. She was a wonderful person. Yeah. Very good. Uh, did the, the ladies used to go to work at those days or not? My wife never did uh, went to work, no. 
She didn't go to work. Yeah. My sister went to work. She was sharp. <laughs> she still is. That's true. Your worst time of your life? I don't remember. You don't remember no. worst. <laughs> you were very fortunate. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm sure yeah. That's nice. Well, I'm so glad, Chris, that we had this interview. And I hope in time to come, when young people look at this tape, mm -hmm. they would remember a very, very great gentleman. Thanks very much. And thank you for coming. Thank you.